we got eight people and we have a little bit of uh, you know some beginners that have really that today's their first day on tele gear but they have some alpine background and then we've got some other people that have had some tele experience so we're kind of taking everybody back to the basics and getting them all to find their center of balance and their center of mass and getting them nice and steady on their skis. So that's really what we're doing now. There's a great tele tribe out there in the world. And it's growing. And it grows, yeah. And the equipment keeps up with it. The equipment keeps up with it. Well, since the advent of the plastic boots and shaped skis and all the different permutations of bindings we have have certainly brought more people towards Telemark. So do you alpine more or tele more? Uh, I only tele. Uh, how come? Because I don't have any alpine skis. Actually... The heel piece wasn't invented till like the late 30s or even 40s, I think. So before then, all skiing was done free heel. Yeah, these guys are our children. I don't know why they got the training heel. <laughs> so they look like this. One position both turns. In a monomark turn, the same ski stays in front no matter which direction you're going in. Cool, we're just going to make some turns down to the flats. Just making some telly turns down to the flats. In traditional turns, the downhill or lead ski is always in front. They were looking for an edge change before a lead change. Old school was lead change get it out there, and then edge change. Now we're looking for that. I'm actually already moving and flattening the ski out as my sheet are passing each other. To turn on their own. To start turning in a way or shifting the weight before the next ski comes forward. I'm in a monomark. I'm yeah. making a monomark move. Now I'm making a lead change. Yeah. Now I'm making a monomark move. Now I'm making a lead change. On the hill a little bit and back out. On the hill a little bit and back out. God, he makes it look way too easy. Everybody's going to be a little bit different, and that's the beauty of the telemark thing. And I was saying that we were, we were striving to make it efficient, but not have everybody look like they came out of the same cookie cutter. So it's not like your, your PSIA perfect turn. No, and, and you know, even in the tele PSIA, I mean, they're really trying to teach the efficiency of the turn that works in the where you are right now. I want to try this little game I called Suicide Chicken. You're going to simply start down the hill with the mono mark, but then change your lead when you're facing down the hill. So we're always on the wrong side? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Let it hang out. I'm starting down the hill and then lead changing. Starting down the hill and then lead changing. I think that you have to challenge yourself in a controlled situation to be able to have a moment of growth. It's the up-down that actually makes you turn. I wasn't doing that. I was staying down the whole time and just sort of going like this. What do you have to do to make a black turn? Make a bike turn? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, you. Give me a hug, man. No, 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 yeah, another hug because, oh my God, you finally got it. It's not the up and down that makes you turn. It's the turning, it's the that, the makes turning you that makes you turn. So try this. Turn your feet and legs. It's better to be relaxed than be resisting the entire time because a, a lot of it is using the forces that we generate rather than resisting them. Try one of these. <laughs> Here comes my first fall of the day. There you go, steer him, steer him, steer him, steer him, steer him, steer him, steer him. <laughs> Okay, here it is. My stop is because of that skid. It's not because I jagged the brakes on. Right. Okay. The students discuss their problems at every opportunity, trying to figure out how it all works. 
I can get as far as backwards, but I can't get back and forwards, which is unfortunate. Are you working only with one heel lifted, no. or do you actually switch no, when you, you get switch. to the halfway point? You get to the halfway point, then you switch. Uh huh. Uh huh. And to me, tele skiing is not an intellectual pursuit; it's a feeling. And all the things we play with are just to create different internal sensations of what we do.